have another book review for you. I've actually been reading quite a lot lately, so I've finished three books in the last week, which is kind of good for me because I never do that. So, wait, this land is like totally in my face. So I did a book review on Graceling, which I'm gonna, like, a couple of days ago, and I'm either uploading it after this, or I did it before this. I don't know. But yeah, I have a book review on Graceling by Christine Shore. But this is going to be a book review on this book. I gave this book four stars. I'm sure you all know what it's about, but I'm going to tell you anyway because I like to do that. It's um, in the near future. I think it's like, no, I don't know how near the future is. But it's in the near future. And um, people were given, I think it was like a shot or something, like, the, because it was like a cure for cancer and lots of other stuff and everybody would be perfectly healthy and the world would be happy so everybody got this injection this was me giving a shot to somebody yeah and um, everyone's like yay this is awesome we're totally healthy and the world is great and so uh, these people who got these injections they like they're like really happy and they live a long life and, yay but their children Something was wrong with them. They were perfectly healthy and strong and everything. But then they just died. Yeah. The women died at age 20. 20. The women died at age 20. And the men at age, at age 25. Yes. Yes. It's horrible. So this is like... This girl right here is Ryan. And she is kidnapped from her home and sold to this man who buys her and two other girls to have as his wives. So yeah, when these three girls are bought, he has four wives because he has another, he had another wife before them named Rose and she is 20 so she's gonna die soon and so he bought three new wives and uh, yeah it's totally crazy because they kidnap girls all the time and the girls who don't get bought, they're like either murdered or th just thrown away on the street or sold into prostitution or other horrible things. This is just a horrible, horrible, horrible world, especially for girls and women because obviously the world needs to keep going and uh, people need to make babies and women make babies happen. Or and do that too, but I'm not gonna go into that. And as I said before, this is Ryan, and she gets bought by this guy named Lyndon, and it's basically all about her living in his huge mansion, living a very luxurious life with dresses and food, great food and awesomeness, but still she's like a prisoner, and she can't open her window, and she can't go outside, and all the wives live in this thing called the wives' floor, which is what's it, what it sounds like, a floor for the wives. And there are no staircases, there's only the elevator. So they're totally trapped and you have to have a key card for the elevator and stuff. And it's about, about her being there, trying to make out a plan to, to, to get out of there, trying to get by, trying to act as a good wife and stuff. It deals with some very heavy subjects, you guys. So, yeah, of course you can read it. I don't like to put age limits on books because, like, it doesn't depend on the age. Like, it, it's it, it depends on your level of maturity. But you, I just wanted to warn you, there are some very heavy subjects in this book. I really like the main girl, Ryan. She, she was very independent and very strong and very good. And she wanted to get out more than anything. Like, she just wanted to get out of there. Still, she didn't look, just like run on her first opportunity. She just she knew that if she tried to run and failed, she would never be trusted again. So she she was very smart and cool, and I really liked her. And another girl I really liked was Jenna. <coughs> it was one of the other wives that Ryan lives with in this house. And there were Ryan, Jenna, and Cecily. I didn't like Cecily, but you're not supposed to like Cecily, I believe. She's one of those characters, you know, you're not supposed to love her. She's just obnoxious and annoying. But Jenna, she was very awesome. She was very, she was like, 
the very wise old woman, even though she was only 19. And she was like, she became like best friends with Ryan, and they were awesome, and Jenna is an awesome character, so yay. Yeah, right, this character, and uh, this guy, he's an awesome, awesome guy, and the horrible, horrible me forgot his name. I, I almost remember it. No, it wasn't that. I mean, it was. I can't remember. A horrible person. <clears throat> And believe. Yeah, it was that name that I thought it was. Gabriel. He's so awesome. And I like totally fell in love with him. The story is really good and I really like this book. And it had a very pretty cover. I really can't wait for the sequel that comes out next year sometime. It's called Fever. Fun fact. Linger by Maggie Steve Otter is called Fever on Swedish. Fever. That's Fever on Swedish. It, it's either gotten like three stars or five stars. So either you think it's okay or you love it. And here I come and give it four stars because I'm odd like that. That's a skirt. And also this book. I, I just realized that I put the cover on the wrong way. So when I opened it, all the text was like upside down. And I'm like, am I going mad? I need to redo this. Oh, I can't swear. bad at this, you know? There should be, like, training for this before you, like, get into the book world, like, how to put on a cover on a book, because it's really harder than it looks, or it can't be harder than what I make it look, but, okay, like that. Um, what was I talking about again? I was, like, Ryan said it as well. Yeah. No, you don't have freedom in here. Oof. Fever. Half the Shire's been invited, and the rest of them are turning up anyway. <laughs> <laughs>